As for someone who games and records their content using a Mac, this is something I've been waiting for for the longest time, and it's finally here. What is that, you might ask? Well, you Windows users probably had no idea that using a Mac in the Elgato Game Capture with OBS just didn't work. You couldn't record anything. It just wasn't possible using any sort of window. But now, the game has changed. Elgato has created a plugin you can download so that in OBS you can create a source so that it brings in the Elgato Game Capture gameplay to your OBS so you can stream and record. And it's just awesome because the streams that I do on this channel from here on out will be done using OBS on my Mac. This was something that was making me contemplate, should I just get a PC console? Like, a, you know, the tower. And now, I don't have to. This, this works. Guys, this is perfect, and I'm about to show you. Let's go. To get this started, what you're gonna wanna do is go in the link description of this video and click on the two links that I supplied. One is for the OBS link software, and then the other is for the plugin that runs on the OBS link. Both of these things are very easy to download. Just install it like you would any other software on your computer. Once you have the OBS link and the plugin installed, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is hook up your Elgato HD to your Mac. If for some reason you forgot or don't know how to set up your Elgato game capture, I left the link in the description below so you can watch that so you can learn how to put it together yourself with the correct cables. Now, if you're all good in that department and everything's set up correctly, then you can search for OBS link on your computer. That'll start up. You'll see a new icon appear in your menu bar. You wanna select that and then you'll see that you can select the capture card. Now in addition, you can go into your preferences and control your video output quality as well as your audio output, whether you're using HDMI audio or analog, like if you have the chat link cable. The next and really the last part here is to open up OBS. And from here, you can select one of your scenes and add a new source. In that source, you wanna select NDI source. Select OK or rename it, whatever you wanna do. The only thing you want to change is the source name, and you can do that by clicking the drop down and selecting your computer name. You can keep all the other settings literally the same. Select OK and you're good to go. You should see a video picture of your Elgato game capture and should be looking good. As you can see, that's what is on my PlayStation screen. It's being recorded on OBS, on a Mac. How awesome is that? There is a little bit of a delay though. Like, check it out. Here one sec, let me uh, zoom out. You guys can see that there's a little bit of delay on the OBS, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be trying to play off that screen, as you can see. Boom. It's like a half a second almost. Not, nothing too major, but I mean, just use this as just for recording. Don't try to look off of it and just stick to your regular screen for playing. Now just a couple points to keep in mind here as you won't always get a clear error message back to you if something's not working right. Originally, I wasn't able to get a picture at all. And it turns out it's just because I had HDCP enabled on my PlayStation, which, oh, that is so annoying. I wish they would just get rid of that. There's other capture cards I've used where you can just get around HTCP and it's, and it's not a big deal, but not with the Elgato. You, you gotta make sure on your console that HDCP is, uh, is off. It's just the way it is. Also, if you don't even have a Mac yet and you're considering buying one now that OBS works with Elgato, make sure you check the minimum specifications so that the laptop will work with the Elgato Game Capture. Don't make the mistake that I did by buying a MacBook with a dual core processor. It needs to have quad core. That's the most important thing here. A lot of people, they don't pay attention to the specs, but that's very important when you're buying a laptop or any computer, it's still important. <laughs> That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for your boy. Also, subscribe to the channel, post notifications on, because I wanna love you. Also, for those of you still buying things in the Fortnite item shop, make sure you use code MIDNIGHTMAN55, because it'll help me out a ton. Whatever little money I get from the Supporter Creator Code program, I just try to put it back into the channel for you guys. All right, that's all from me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, my knees are kind of killing me. This seat is killing me. I can't wait till I get a real chair. I'm still waiting on my desk chair. Staples, you're slow. Send me the gift card for my refund so I can buy the right chair. Oh, oh, oh. this is what I'm sending you, man. You don't game in this kind of chair. It's, it's literally unhealthy for you. This is not healthy to sit in this chair, man.
God! Oh, God! Well, better than nothing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.